exploring the top 60 stocks on the S&P and TSX 60 along with their current P, PB ratio, dividend yield can offer key insights to you. So let's dive into each company and I have also shared this spreadsheet in the description for your convenience. So the 60th company is Algonquin Power and Utilities Corporation with ticker symbol AQN with a market cap of 5.794 Canadian billion dollars trading at 8.4 dollars its p ratio is 240.69 and pb ratio is 0.88 and it offers a great dividend yield of 7% it's a north american diversified generation transmission and distribution utility the next 59th company is Canadian Tire Corporation Limited and the ticker symbol is CTC.A with a market cap of $6.992 billion trading at $228.88 Canadian dollar. Its P ratio is 60, PB ratio is 2.29 and it offers a dividend yield of 3.03%. It is a retail company selling automotive, sports, leisure and home products. The next company is Canadian Apartment Properties Real Estate Investment Trust with sticker symbol CAR.UN and the market cap is $7.553 billion for this company. It is currently trading at $44.36 Canadian dollars with P ratio negative 18.17, PB ratio is 0.8 and it offers a dividend yield of 3.29. It's a Canadian Real Estate Investment Trust. The next company which is 57th company company is Gildan Activewear Incorporation. Its ticker symbol is GIL. It is currently trading at $49.18 Canadian dollars with P ratio of 11.91. PB ratio is 3.13 and it offers a dividend yield of 2.12%. It is a Canadian manufacturer of branded clothing including t-shirts, sportswear and the socks. The next company is CAE Incorporation with the ticker symbol CAE. Its market cap is $8.5.15 billion, trading at $26.99 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is 30.94 and PB ratio is 1.85 and it offers no dividend yield. It is a manufacturer of simulation technologies, modeling technologies and training services for civil aviation, military defense and healthcare. The next company is First Service Corporation with ticker symbol FSV with a market cap of around 9.8 billion Canadian dollars. It is trading at 215.8 Canadian dollar. Its P ratio is 70.68 and PB ratio is around seven and it offers a dividend yield of 0.58%. It is a North American leader in the property services sector. The 54th company is Kinross Gold Corporation, ticker symbol K. It has a market cap of $10.424 billion, trading at around $8.71 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is 18.61 and PB ratio is 1.3. It offers a dividend yield of 1.91%. It is a Canadian based senior gold mining company with mines and projects in the United States. States, Brazil, Russia, Mauritius, Chile and Ghana. The 53rd company is Saputo and it is currently trading at 26.95 Canadian dollar. Its P ratio is 33.59 and PB ratio is 1.67. It offers a dividend yield of 2.78%. It is a Canadian dairy company producing and distributing dairy products in worldwide. The next company is CCL Industries and it is currently trading at 69.15 Canadian dollar. Its P ratio is 24.08 and PB ratio is 2.66. It offers dividend of 1.57%. So CCL Industries is a Canadian specialty packaging company. So the next company is First Quantum Mineral Limited with the ticker symbol FM and it has a market cap of $12.295 billion. It's trading at $15.26 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is negative 8 and PB ratio is 0.92 and it offers a dividend yield of 1.39%. It is a Canadian based mining and metal company producing copper, nickel, gold, zinc and platinum.
Platinum Group Elements. So the 50th company is Imera Incorporated, ticker symbol EMA, and it has a market cap of $13.336 billion, trading at $47.38 Canadian dollars. P ratio is 13.17, PB ratio is 1.26, and it offers a dividend yield of 5.97, which is good. Now, Imera is a North American energy company engaged in the generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity and gas. So 49th company is a tech company called OpenTex Corporation with the ticker symbol OTEX. It is currently trading at 51.1 Canadian dollars with P ratio 80.13 and PB ratio 2.49 and it offers a dividend yield of 2.65%. It is a Canadian enterprise information management software company. The 48th company is Metro Inc. with ticker symbol MRU. It has a market cap of $16.292 billion, trading at $71.06 Canadian dollars. P ratio is 15.93 and PV ratio is 2.32. It offers a dividend yield of 1.78%. It is a Canadian food retailer operating in Quebec and Ontario. The 47th company is Brookfield Infrastructure Partners with ticker symbol BIP.UN. It has a market cap of $18.46 billion, trading at $39.16 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is 200 and 2.79 and PV ratio is 2.09 it offers a dividend yield of 5.46 percent which is good and it owns and operates utilities transport energy and data infrastructure businesses globally the next company is Magna International Inc. with ticker symbol MG. It is currently trading at 70.9 Canadian dollar. Its P ratio is 12.35, which is reasonable. The PB ratio is 1.26, which is also very reasonable. And it offers a dividend yield of 3.55%. It is a Canadian mobility technology company for automakers. 45th company is Tourmaline Oil Corporation with ticker symbol TOU. It is currently trading at 64.11 Canadian dollars with P ratio of 12.75 and PB ratio of 1.61. It offers a dividend yield of 1.68%. It is a Canadian intermediate crude oil and natural gas exploration and production company. The next company is Power Corporation of Canada with ticker symbol POW. It's trading at 37.64 Canadian dollars. P ratio is 11.31 and PB ratio is 2.05 and the dividend yield is 5.69 which is good and it is a diversified international management and holding company. So the next company is Rogers Communication Inc and its sticker symbol is RCI.B. It has a market cap of 22.623 billion dollars which is trading at 53.83 canadian dollars p ratio is 32.44 and pb ratio is 2.73 the dividend yield is 3.73 percent it is a canadian communications and media company the 42nd company is brookfield asset management limited and the ticker symbol is baam with market cap of 23.01 billion dollars trading at around 56.21 canadian dollars p ratio is 10.86 and pv ratio is 7.77 the dividend yield for the stock is 3.19 percent it is a global alternative asset manager the next company is hydro one limited with ticker symbol edge currently trading at 39.22 canadian dollars its p ratio is 21.56 and pv ratio is 2 it offers a dividend yield of 3.04 percent it is a canadian Canadian electricity transmission and distribution utility. The 40th company is George Western Limited with ticker symbol WN. It is currently trading at 178.86 Canadian dollars. P ratio is 16.82 and PV ratio is 4.17. Dividend yield is 1.57%. It is a Canadian food processing and distribution company. The 39th company is Fortis Incorporation with ticker symbol FTS. It has a market cap of $26.232 billion, currently trading at $52.74 Canadian dollars, with P ratio 
17.18 and PP ratio is 1.32. It offers a dividend yield of 4.34%. It is a utility company engaged in transmission and distribution of electricity and natural gas. The 38th company is Pembina Pipeline Corporation with ticker symbol PPL. It is currently trading at 48.69 Canadian dollars with pay ratio of 16.05 and PB ratio is 2.05. It offers a dividend yield of 5.55% and it is a Canadian transportation and midstream services provider. 37th company is WSP Global Inc. and the ticker symbol is WSP. Its market cap is $27.482 billion, trading at $214.99 Canadian dollars. P ratio is 47.23 and the PB ratio is 4.11. It offers a dividend yield of 0.72%. It is a Canadian based professional services company providing management and consultancy services. Now the next company is Chemico Corporation with ticker symbol CCO. It's trading at 66.87 Canadian dollars. P ratio is 81 and PB ratio is 4.81. It offers a dividend yield of 0.18%. It is a Canadian uranium mining company the next and 35th company is dollarama inc with ticker symbol dol market cap is 28.628 billion dollars trading at 114.5 canadian dollar its p ratio is 30.14 and pb ratio is 87 offers a dividend yield of 0.28 percent it is a canadian dollar store retail chain the next company is wheat and precious metal corporation with ticker symbol WPM. It's trading at 68.74 Canadian dollars with P ratio 43.12 and PB ratio 3.3. The dividend yield for this stock is 1.19% and it is a Canadian precious metal streaming company. The next company is CGI Inc. with ticker symbol GIB.A with a market cap of $30.583 billion. It is trading at $144.84 dollars with P ratio of 20.8 and PB ratio of 3.96 and unfortunately it doesn't offer any dividend. It is a Canadian multinational information technology consulting and systems integration company. The next company is Franco Nevada Corporation with ticker symbol FNV and it is trading at 166.26 Canadian dollars. P ratio is negative and PB ratio is 4. It offers a dividend yield of 1.14%. It is a Canadian based precious metal royalty and streaming company. 31st company, which is one of my favorite, is Teles Corporation with ticker symbol T. Market cap is $31.76 billion, trading at $21.77 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is 37.29 and PB ratio is 1.98. It offers a great dividend yield of 6.84%. It is a Canadian telecommunications company. So the 30th company is Tech Resources Limited with ticker symbol TECK.B. It has a market cap of $32.053 billion, trading at $83.48 Canadian dollars. P ratio is 13.84 and PB ratio is 1.24. It offers a dividend yield of 0.77%. It is a Canadian metals and mining company. The next company is the Restaurant Brands International Limited with ticker symbol QSR. It has a market cap of around $33 billion, trading at $101.27 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is 20.4 and PB ratio ratio is 8.36. It offers a dividend yield of 2.87% and it is a multinational fast food holding company. Also the parent company of Tim Hortons. So the 28th company is Nutrient Limited with ticker symbol NTR. Market cap of $36.661 billion trading at around $77.11 Canadian dollars with P ratio of 22.29 and PB ratio of 1. 
3.1. It offers a dividend yield of 3.75%. So it is a Canadian fertilizer producer and seller of potash, nitrogen and phosphate products for agriculture, industrial and feed customers worldwide. Now the next company is National Bank of Canada, ticker symbol is NA. Market cap is $38.144 billion, trading at around $112.82 Canadian dollars. P ratio is 11.8 and PB ratio is 1.72. It offers a dividend yield of 3.68% and it is one of the Canada's leading banks. The next company is Intact Financial Corporation with symbol IFC. It is trading at around $220.16. P ratio is 31.26 and PB ratio is 2.67. It offers a dividend yield of 2.07%. It is the largest provider of property and casualty insurance in Canada. So the 25th company is BCE Incorporation with ticker symbol BCE. Its market cap is $40.797 billion, currently trading at around $44.75. P ratio is 19.62 and PB ratio is 2.46 and it offers a great dividend yield of 8.7. 3%, and it is a Canadian telecommunications and media company. The next company is Barry Gold Corporation with ticker symbol ABX. It is trading at around 24.25 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is 24.08 and PB ratio is around 1.31. It offers a dividend yield of 2.3%. It is the largest gold mining company in the world. The next company is Agnico Eagle Mines Limited with ticker symbol AEM. It's trading at around 84.27 Canadian dollars with P ratio of 15 and PB ratio of 1.58. It offers a dividend yield of 2.59%. It is a Canadian based gold producer with operations in Canada, Finland and Mexico. The 22nd company is Sun Life Financial Inc. Symbol is SLF and it's trading at around 72.59 Canadian dollars with P ratio of 13.72 and PB ratio is 1.98. It offers a dividend yield of 4.24%. It is a Canadian financial services company providing insurance, wealth and asset management solution. The next company is Loblo Companies Limited with ticker symbol L. It has a market cap of 46 Point forty six seven billion dollars trading at 149.52 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is 22.75 and PB ratio is 4.12. It offers a dividend yield of 1.19% and it is Canada's largest food and pharmacy retailer. The 20th company is Imperial Oil Limited with symbol IMO. It is trading at around 99.04 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is 11.52 and PV ratio is 2.36. It offers a dividend yield of 2.15%. It is a Canadian petroleum company engaged in exploration, production and sell of crude oil and natural gas. The 19th company is Sinovus Energy Inc. Ticker symbol is CVE and it's trading at 29.05 Canadian dollars with P ratio 13.21 and PB ratio of 1.8. Did. It offers a dividend yield of 1.97%. It is a Canadian integrated oil and natural gas company. The next company is TC Energy Corporation with symbol TRP trading at $51.93. P ratio is 19.33 and PB ratio is 2.04. Dividend yield is good 7.05%. It is a major North American energy company based in Calgary, Alberta. 17th company is Waste Connections in ticker symbol WCN trading at 228.28 Canadian dollars. P ratio is 57.16 and PV ratio is 5.62. It offers a dividend yield of 0.64%. It is an integrated solid waste services company that provides waste collection, transfer, disposal and recycling services. 
The next company is Manulife Financial Corporation with ticker symbol MFC and it has a market cap of $59.891 billion. It's trading at 33.13 Canadian dollars. Its PE ratio is 12.7 and PV ratio is 1.48. It offers a dividend yield of 4.5%. It is a Canadian multinational insurance company. The 15th company is Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce with ticker symbol CM. Its market cap is $63.018 billion. It is trading at $67.55 Canadian dollars with PE ratio of 10.33 and PB ratio is 1.29. It offers a dividend yield of 5.24% and it is a Canadian multinational banking and financial services corporation. The next company is Suncor Energy Inc. with ticker symbol SU. It has a market cap of $66.509 billion, trading at 53 Canadian dollars with PE ratio of 8.21 and PB ratio is 1.55. It offers the yield of 4.1%. It is a Canadian integrated energy company specializing in the production of synthetic crude oil from the oil sands. The 13th company is Alimentasio Costard with ticker symbol ATD and it's trading at 75.45 Canadian dollars with PE ratio of 18.23 and PB ratio is 3.99. It offers the dividend yield of 0.84%. It is a Canadian multinational operator of convenience stores. Twelfth company is Constellation Software Inc. with ticker symbol CSU and it has a market cap of $76.114 billion. It's trading at $3,641.45 Canadian dollars. Its P ratio is 99.88 and PB ratio is 30 and it offers a dividend yield of 0.15%. It is a Canadian diversified software company. The 11th company is Bank of Nova Scotia, ticker symbol BNS. It has a market cap of $82.144 billion. It's currently trading at $67.94 Canadian dollars with PE ratio of 11 and PB ratio is 1.18. It offers a dividend yield of 7.75%. It is a Canadian multinational bank and a leading financial services provider. Now let's see the top 10 Canadian companies in terms of their market cap. So the 10th company is Brookfield Corporation with ticker symbol BN. It has a market cap of $88.267 billion, currently trading at $54.79. Its P ratio is 66.59 and PB ratio is 1.48. It offers a dividend yield of 0.7%. It is a global alternative asset manager. The ninth company is Thomson Reuters Corporation with ticker symbol TRI. It has a market cap of $93.854 billion. It is currently trading at $206.41. Its PE ratio is 26.39 and PB ratio is 6.31. It offers a dividend yield of 1.33%. It is a Canadian multinational media conglomerate. The eighth company is Bank of Montreal with ticker symbol BMO. It has a market cap of $94.963 billion, currently trading at $132.05. Its PE ratio is 18.55 and PB ratio is 1.28. It offers the dividend yield of 4.5%. 48% and BMO is one of the big five banks in Canada. So the seventh company is Enbridge and the ticker symbol is ENB. It has a market cap of $103.431 billion. 
currently trading at 48.04 Canadian dollars. Its PE ratio is 17 and PB ratio is 1.89. It offers a dividend yield of 7.39%. It is a Canadian multinational energy transportation company. Sixth company is Canadian Pacific Kansas City Limited with sticker symbol CP. It has a market cap of $110 billion, currently trading at $118.87 Canadian dollars. Its PE ratio is 28.19 and PB ratio is 2.65. It offers a dividend yield of 0.64% and it is a Canadian class 1 railway. The fifth company is Canadian National Railway Company with ticker symbol CNR. It has a market cap of 113.528 billion dollars, currently trading at 176.3 Canadian dollars with PE ratio of 20.65 and PB ratio of 5.63. It offers a dividend yield of 1.82%. Fourth company is Canadian Natural Resources Limited with ticker symbol C and Q. The market cap of this company is $113.857 billion, trading at $110.32 Canadian dollars. Its PE ratio is 14.22 and PB ratio is 2.85. It offers the dividend yield of of 3.58% and it is a Canadian multinational oil and gas exploration development and production company. So the third company is Shopify with the ticker symbol SHOP with market cap of $128.052 billion currently trading at 102.29 Canadian dollars. Its PE ratio is 787 and PV ratio is 11.13 and it offers no dividend yield. Shopify is a Canadian multinational e-commerce company. Second company is TD Bank with ticker symbol TD. It has a market cap of $143.082 billion currently trading at 80.63 Canadian dollars. Its PE ratio is 12.74 and PB ratio is 1.4. It offers the dividend yield of 4.83%. It is a Canadian multinational banking and financial services corporation. And the first company is Royal Bank of Canada with ticker symbol RY. It has a market cap of $190.167 billion currently trading at 139.11 Canadian dollars. Its PE ratio is 12.6 and PV ratio is 1.76 and it offers a dividend yield of 4%. RBC is a Canadian multinational financial services company. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this information, please do like, share and subscribe the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. This video is just for an educational purposes. Please do not consider it as any recommendation or financial advice.